Hello, Butler students. My name is Miss Stigler, and I'm one of the counselors at Waukesha North High School. And I am here to talk with you today about information and options for high school. So the different things we'll be covering, what you need to do in order to graduate from high school, um, and these requirements are consistent regardless of which high school in our district you are attending. Elective options and how to explore those, what the scheduling process involves to pick your classes for next school year, how to complete your course selection sheet for ninth grade, which is due on January 29th, and that you will turn into either your Quest or social studies teacher on the 29th. And how to complete the course registration process in Infinite Campus. So really um, to sign up for classes for next school year, there's two parts to it. One is the completing the course selection sheet. And that is a helpful visual tool that you can use to have conversations about what you want to take at home with parents. Um, so that's filled out and turned in. And then the second part of the process, before you turn in that course selection sheet, you will also log into Infinite Campus and put your course requests into the Academic Planner in Infinite Campus. And I will show you how to do that later on in this video. So this is a picture of our high school schedule. Again, um, this is also the same regardless of which high school um, you will be attending. So there, the color, different color codes are because each day of the week, the schedule is a little bit different. Every day, except for Mondays, the school day starts at 7.35 and ends at 8.05, I'm sorry, 8, I'm sorry, 3.05. So 7.35 start, 3.05, the school day ends. On Tuesday through Friday, the first actual class period starts at 8.10, while on Mondays, the first class starts right away at 7.35. Mondays, students have all eight of their classes, and Tuesday through Friday, each day, you skip two periods. So you have only six hour-long classes each day of the week, Tuesday through Friday. Your graduation requirements are the things that you need to complete and earn in order to graduate from high school, get your diploma and move on. So our school district requires a total of 25 credits. So a credit is earned when you pass a class. Passing is a D or higher. And it's a half credit per class each semester. So for example, English, every English is a full year. So two semesters for ninth grade. So you pass both semesters, that's one full credit for English next year for ninth grade. 15 and a half of the 25 total credits is in the specific areas listed in the presentation here. And we'll walk through those. The other nine and a half credits are elective courses, which means anything that you choose that we offer um, or also additional English, math, science, social studies, phi ed courses beyond what is required. Any of those can be considered elective credits as well. So you will need to take English every year. We require four full credits of English. Math is three credits and 
students also must complete three full credits while in high school. So if you complete algebra and you're doing that now in eighth grade and you complete that, you will go into some type of geometry next year um, and you will need to take at least two more math credits or courses beyond geometry. So you have to take three math credits or courses while in high school. For science, students are required to take biology, chemistry, and physics. The same as the math requirement, you are required to take three science credits while in high school. So if you took biology in eighth grade, then you would take one of the chemistry options in ninth grade and one of the physics options in 10th grade, then you would need to take at least one more additional credit of science. For social studies, it's three and a half credits, and that's human geography, one full credit, world history is a half credit, US history is one full credit, and government and economics are each a half credit. Phi Ed, you need to complete or earn one and a half credits. And each FIAD class is one semester long. So that's three semesters of FIAD. One in ninth grade, one in 10th grade, and then in 11th grade, um, instead of taking a third FIAD class, if you are participating in a high school sport and you complete the season, then you can use that as your third FIAD class. And there is a waiver form that we have in our student services office that you would fill out um, in order to make sure that that's documented in your transcript. Health is only a half credit, so that's typically taken in ninth grade. And then as I mentioned, the other nine and a half credits are elective, so anything that you're interested in that you choose to take. So a little bit about your core classes. So uh, you should be getting recommendations from your current teachers. So from your eighth grade teachers about which option in terms of core class they would recommend for you that should show up if it hasn't already, that should show up sometime soon in Infinite Campus in the Academic Planner. So for math, if you, most of you will go into Integrated Math 1 next year as freshmen. If you are taking eighth grade, taking algebra right now in eighth grade, you would go into either geometry or honors geometry in ninth grade instead. For science, most ninth graders will go into biology, so either biology or honors biology. Those of you that are completing biology right now in eighth grade will take either chemistry or honors chemistry in ninth grade. Social studies, you have two options, human geography, or Advanced Placement, or AP, Human Geography. English, um, your options are English 9 or Honors English 9. We often get many questions about the difference between Honors and Regular classes. So for Science, Honors Biology does move at a faster pace with more in-depth coursework. Regular biology and honors biology students um, are taught the same units, but the difference is the depth of study for each unit. So you're going into more depth in those units in honors biology. For chemistry, honors chemistry also moves at a faster pace which allows for more advanced chemistry topics to be covered. Higher level math and science skills are needed to be successful. And it is suggested that honors chemistry students also take honors geometry along with it. For English, 
honors English. The curriculum includes more challenging writing prompts, reading reflections, and literary analysis activities. The selected readings are chosen by the district curriculum team, including a fourth quarter novel that only honors English students read. The writing and language also prepares students for the AP language and literature courses and exams later on junior, senior year. So in terms of social studies, AP human geography is um, a more advanced option than regular geometry that's going to include a lot more reading um, and more in-depth advanced topics. You also have the opportunity for AP credit or college credit by taking the AP exam for the course as well. For Phi Ed, you have, for ninth grade, you have two options, field and court focus or personal fitness. Um, the field and court is geared towards uh, students who like playing sports, like playing different types of sports. The personal fitness course is more around individual fitness activities and goals. Um, eAchieve is our online school in the school district of Waukesha. So um, sometimes students are interested in this as either a full-time option or as a part-time option. So Students can be full-time in our face-to-face -face schools like North, South, and West. Um, and they can, you can still choose to take up to one or two eAchieve classes each semester. So you can do that. You can be a full-time in the building student and take a, up to two eAchieve courses as a part-time student to fill your school day. Here are the different elective departments that we have. So we have a variety of art courses, business and marketing, family and consumer science, information technology, music, physical education, technology education, and world language. And that is Spanish and French. This is just a snapshot, a picture of our one page document. That's just a quick glance at all the variety of classes that we offer. This is on, this is posted on our North website. And I believe you'll be getting a copy of it along with the course selection sheet. Or if you're virtual, again, you can download it from our website. Also to help you make informed decisions about your course requests, you want to check out the course selection guide. So that's posted on our website, or you can um, use the QR code. There are full course descriptions and it's organized by department. So if you know you like um, music, you can go to that department, look at all the courses that are offered, read the descriptions before you make your final decisions. So um, this is just a visual to show you how many classes are required and the, court and the spots that you have to fill with elective classes. So you can see you're going to need one you know, class period for English, one for math, one for science, biology or chemistry, one for human geography, um, one semester for FIAD, and then another semester for health. So you have room for three full year classes or a combination of semester and full year options. So, Going back to, 
going back to this course selection sheet, let's look at, oops, digital photography, for example. So the S stands for semester, so that is a semester class. Any other class that does not have an S then means it's a full year class. So automotive technology is something we offer at North. There's no S there, so that's a full year class. The O you see next to some courses means that it is an online option as well. So the course is also offered through eAchieve. So make sure when you're planning out your courses that you're paying attention to whether the course is a semester long or a full year, because that makes a big difference in terms of the number of classes that you need to request. Here is your course selection sheet. So you will circle your math option, your science option. Um, you'll also have, have to add chemistry if you're taking that instead, or honors chemistry, human geography, which option you want there, English 9 or Honors English 9, and then which FIAD you would prefer. Here's where you're going to enter then those elective choices. So if you want Spanish, that's a full year course, you would write Spanish across the full length of line six because the little divider in the middle is intended to divide the semesters. So Spanish would take up that whole line. If you're also going to take marching band, that is a semester class. You could put marching band in, in line seven on the left and then swap symphonic uh, wind and percussion is another semester option that students in band often take. You could put that in the second spot on the right side in line seven. Then for line eight, you want to take automotive technology. That would go across, that's a full year, that would go across the full line. So those would be all of your primary electives. The alternate selections are things that you are still interested in as backup options if one of these primary requests is not able to fit in. So you're going to fill up either three full year classes. We do like you to have some semester options in here as well. So maybe one or two full year classes and then the rest semester options and put them in order of what you are most interested in. Same thing, so starting at line six, put your electives in order of interest all the way down and fill up every line on the page. If you are attending South for either the Engineering Academy or Health Academy for engineering, you will need two full electives. So you need IED and the Freshman Engineering Seminar for Health. You need to have one full elective of Intro to Health Occupations. And then your biology will be Principles of Biomedical Sciences. Just some tips to get the most out of high school. Make sure uh, that you get involved. That's a huge predictor of success in high school. Take challenging classes, so you should be pushing yourself, stretching yourself. Um, you don't want to be coasting through with classes that are easy for you. You want to be challenging. We recommend taking four years of math, even though it's not a requirement. Um, there, there are a lot of studies to show that having four years of math um, predict success in college after high school. Advanced placement AP courses can help you prepare for college as well and are challenging options, again, to stretch and push you. And we want you to be aware of your options so you are career ready when you leave high school. 
Here are some examples of some of the different clubs and activities that are offered. They do vary by school. These are the ones we offer at North. A lot of the things we have in our school are offered at the other high schools, but there are some differences between all three. Sports that are offered listed um, by season. So fall sports, winter and spring. Something that's really important to remember is that fall sports begin in August. So plan ahead for the fall season. So our top tips for you, research your course options, use the resources I've shared with you to choose your classes carefully. Do not make choices based on things you've heard about classes or based on what your friends are doing. You wanna make sure you're making good choices for yourself. Accounting and child development are a couple of the more challenging electives that are available to freshmen, so keep that in mind. Um, you're welcome to select those if you're up for the challenge. Most freshman students are not ready for eAchieve. Um, some are though, it depends on what kind of learner and what kind of student you are. Um, but Chinese, Latin, and German are E achieve courses that have been particularly challenging for our students. If you have questions or concerns about the core courses that your teacher recommends or not sure um, if you disagree or have questions about that, please have conversations with your parents and your current teacher to determine what is going to be best for you. I mentioned earlier you know, make sure that your course load that you're planning is something that's going to challenge you and that you at least have one class that you know is going to push you a little bit further. Um, sometimes freshmen are nervous about coming into high school and making that transition. We can tell you that one thing, the three things that we consistently hear from our freshmen are that they enjoy the freedom, that they have a little bit more freedom in high school and they enjoy that. Um, teachers have been really helpful and positive and they like the, the wide variety of classes that they have to choose from. So most of them had some anxiety or nerves about coming into high school but those dissipated very quickly. So how do you sign up for your classes? So you're going to log into Infinite Campus. It does work on the iPad, but it is not going to work on a phone if you're trying to do it with the mobile app, but you can use your iPad. On the left side, you will see um, a tab that says Academic Planner. You're going to click on that planner and then you are going to, it asks you to, to fill in a couple questions. You don't actually have to fill those out. You can, or you can just click next over on the right. That will take you to a screen that looks like this. It has uh, boxes and columns for each grade level. So you are gonna focus right now on the farthest column to the left, which is ninth grade. And the boxes are separated out by subject area. And then you'll find electives and alternates towards the bottom of the screen as you scroll down. Each box, each little rectangle um, that's in your planner course name represents one semester. So for year long classes, you'll have two boxes, two semesters for English, for example, or for human geography. You can put your cursor in the box. So under social studies, you'll click your cursor in, and then you could just type human 
to, to pull up human geography. So um, less is better when you're filling in these boxes because if you type the course name incorrectly, it won't pop up. So just put a portion, a small portion of the course name. You can click out of it. If you look at the red arrow by number seven here, you can, if you click that X in the upper left corner, that'll take the course out. And then you can add it back in. So let's say you put in the wrong course, you click that little X to take it out, and then you can add in the correct course. You're gonna continue putting courses in until you have completed all of your course requests for your electives, your phi ed, your English, math, social studies, science, and then also your alternate courses as well. Make sure that you hit save at the top of your screen. So there's a little save button up at the top. Anytime you make changes in the planner, you need to click that save button to make sure that the changes have been saved. You can um, put plan courses out for other school years for 10th, 11th, 12th grade. Um, but what's important for now is just to make sure you have ninth grade completed. Here's just a screenshot of where you'll find the alternates. As I mentioned, they're all the way in the very bottom, so you have to scroll all the way down once you've done your electives, and then you'll type in the alternates as well. If you're looking for a study hall, that will be found in the no credit section. So here, this non-credit section, that's also towards the bottom of the academic planner, that's where you'll find study hall as well. Thank you for watching this video. Now you are welcome to log into Infinite Campus and start entering your courses. Don't forget to check out the resources on our North website under student services and then scheduling. You're welcome to utilize any of those resources regardless of what high school you're attending. Thank you and take care.